Hello and welcome to another system design video and in this video we'll be looking at proxies and comparing it with virtual private networks or VPNs. So what is a proxy? A proxy is basically a middleman that passes requests on from one place to another and back. A proxy which sits between the client and the web is called a forward proxy and a proxy server sitting between the web and your web application servers is called a reverse proxy. Now what are proxies used for? One thing proxies are commonly used for is filtering requests. It gives us the ability to block out certain traffic or sites. This can be done by blacklisting certain IP addresses. Any requests with these IPs are filtered out. So if a particular network only had access to the internet via this proxy, then they would not be allowed to access these sites or IPs. Proxies can also be used to improve performance. If there are multiple clients accessing the same resource, such as a software update, the proxy server can cache that particular request and serve all the client requests without needing to go back to the web to download the update every time. Proxies are also great for disguising your IP as the request going through the proxy can mask your IP and only the IP of your proxy server is exposed to places you send the request to. This is why people use proxy services to do their shady business online. But be wary of free proxy services because proxies also allow the service provider to see your activity. The previous two reasons are why proxies are popular in the hacker community because proxies can be used to carry out middleman attacks where malware places a proxy between you and the internet and now the hacker has access to all your encrypted requests going through the proxy so they could fish for passwords to particular sites or even bank details and hackers can browse around the web anonymously bouncing requests through proxies to hide their true IPs. If the reason to using a proxy is to have more security, then another solution like using a VPN may be a better option. So what is a VPN? A VPN gives you the ability to create secure connections over the internet. VPNs can support all protocols a proxy can, such as HTTP or FTP, but it can also support web sockets, which most proxies can't. So how do VPNs work? VPNs use a network technology called tunneling which allows your machine to connect securely to a VPN server that acts as a gateway to the secure or hidden network you're trying to access over the internet. The tunneling protocol encrypts the TCP or IP packets sent over this VPN connection which protects you from individuals snooping into your insecure HTTP requests or web sockets which is helpful when you're using untrustworthy Wi-Fi hotspots like in cafes. Also, since you're going through a VPN to access your networks on the internet, you also have some anonymity, which means you can hide your true location and pretend to have the same location as your VPN server. This allows you to bypass geographic restrictions on websites or stream content, such as watching shows exclusive to American Netflix when you're in the UK, or when you see this content is not available in your country on YouTube. Just use a VPN provider, change your location and enjoy the video. VPNs are also great for bypassing internet censorship like in China, as many tourists in China use VPNs to get around the Great Firewall of China and gain access to the entire internet instead of the censored internet. So that's all I have for proxies and VPNs. As always, if this video helped, please like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next system design video.